beautiful Caribbean island nation of Jamaica is celebrating its Diamond Jubilee this year with 60 years ago this August when the country gained its independence from Great Britain. Celebrations are planned all year to mark the occasion across the country and here in New York, which is home to the largest Jamaican population in the United States. Here with more on this historic milestone and the many events planned, I am joined by Jamaica's Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Andrew Holness. Prime Minister, nice to have you with us on Good Day New York. Ah, it's my great pleasure being did, with you. Did you meet the King of the Rangers, Henrik Lund <laughs> yeah, Lundquist? Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard about him and it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> yeah, it's good to meet so, you, sir. Prime Minister, so nice to have you here and we both were talking about our love of Jamaica. Henrik was there a number of years ago mm -hmm. for a wedding. Absolutely, I, I love that. I, I love the feel when you when you come to Jamaica. The music, the how friendly people are, all are and, and for me, when I'm not playing or not working, for me it's all about finding peace and, and happiness. And Jamaica is yeah. a great place for that. Do you want to rub it in with the temperature and the you know? It's warmer than here. I mean, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk about the celebrations uh, coming up, because there are a number of things, not only celebrating the 60th anniversary, but the Penn Games that are coming up, right? Yeah, I, I actually visited the Penn Relays this year, my first time. A wonderful experience. Uh, Jamaica has traditionally done well at the Penn Relays. We dominated it this year again uh, in all these high school categories, uh, it won all the major races. Uh, but the, the people in, in uh, uh, Philadelphia and uh, University of Pennsylvania. They have embraced Jamaica so much, and we're so grateful for the support that uh, they have given. Uh, and it is really a great display of athletic prowess, and Jamaica uh, did very well there. Didn't, did, do you still have that Bob, Bob Sled team? Still, we did. We participated again this in the, in the recent Winter Olympics, yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, um, COVID restrictions. I know, you know, people were concerned about traveling outside of the United States. Uh, tell us what's going on in Jamaica right now. Well, we've lifted uh, most restrictions. Uh, so to enter Jamaica is just like normal. Uh, so we encourage people to travel to Jamaica. Uh, we have, uh, we are insisting in, within the, the island that people take personal responsibility for their own health and safety. Uh, we strongly encourage people to wear masks, sanitize, social distance, uh, but we have no uh, protocols enforced by law anymore. So you can travel to Jamaica quite easily. How is it possible they have the bluest water and the most gorgeous sand? I mean, right? Have you ever seen sand like that uh, anywhere? I mean, it was a uh, long time ago since I, I've been there, but I remember being on the beach and then, like I said earlier, with the music. It, it just felt like a perfect place to relax. Uh, but I have to and ask should, a very important come back. question. You should come back. Do uh, you guys have a hockey team? Oh, <laughs> oh wait a second. Henrik's looking for a little side hustle now. Field hockey is, is, Field is, hockey. is, is, is still right. a sport for us, but we clearly, we would have a ice hockey team. <laughs> no hockey team. Okay. It would be great. I mean, think about it. Henrik could come over there and start a team, a Jamaican uh, ice hockey team. Is there any place that, yeah, no, that could set to, something up invest, like that? Yeah, look, we, we're seeing them investing in ice hockey rinks uh, in countries where it's very hot. Yeah. So if you want to do that, we'd welcome you. Uh, okay. <laughs> that we'll is, talk about it, yeah. Um, let's talk about your relationship with Great Britain, especially with the Independence Day coming up, a big celebration. How are things going with that? Will any of the royal family be there? How uh, are we, we had a going? visit from um, uh, the... the the royals uh, in Jamaica, and it went it went very well. Um, we will have obviously, you know, people coming to Jamaica visiting. We will have mm -hmm. uh, visiting presidents from Namibia. Uh, we had the president of Rwanda who visited us. We are having the president of India who is visiting us. So yeah, we we will have quite a bit of international representation. And I know music is back. Uh, my boss loves uh, a lot of the concerts that you do in Jamaica. They're epic. He shows me the videos. <laughs> you have all the, the best uh, singers and performers there. And it just it's outside and it seems magical. Yeah, uh, we're going to have the return of one of our major festivals, uh, Reggae Sum Fest this year. Obviously, because of COVID, we weren't able to do it. They made an attempt to do it virtually. Mm -hmm. uh, but this year, we're back live in living color. 
That's amazing. And are tickets, did they start selling them yet? Or are they tickets I'm almost available? certain that they've, they've started. So when you come to New York, I mean, obviously you go and you vi visit Brooklyn, right? Because we have the largest, probably the largest ja Jamaican yes. po population yes. outside of Jamaica. Outside of Jamaica, yes. Yeah. In, in any one concentrated area, in any one city, yes. Do, do they talk about how they miss the homeland? Or are they obviously, happily ensconced you know, here? Obviously, New York is now their home. But Jamaica is their homeland. Uh, and uh, the culture, uh, their history, their family, uh, that's where the connection, that's where the connection is. And that's how they identify themselves. Uh, and uh, uh, that is what has given them the drive to be successful. And so they, they will always identify with Jamaica and their hearts will always be in Jamaica. Uh, and we launched our celebrations here because we have a significant population here and we want to embrace our Jamaican diaspora. We want to tell them how much we love them, we care about them, and they're a part of Jamaica. And when is the actual celebrations? What will you be doing for the 60th anniversary? Well, the, the actual date of independence is the 6th of August, and there are a series of events that we will do. So it's a period of celebration, but it is also a period of celebration where we think about uh, our achievements and in areas that we have fallen short. So it is a time where we will come together as one nation and recommit to developing our country, our people, our nation uh, for the fulfillment of what we believe is our true destiny to be a prosperous, uh, free uh, and loving society. Well, we love the people of Jamaica. We uh, love the island of Jamaica. And we love you too, Prime Minister. We're available <laughs> if you need us for well, anything. Come visit us. Uh, and we encourage everyone to come, come, come to come down Jamaica. and talk with a hockey team uh, idea. <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea. Obviously, it's a little warm down there, but I'm sure you could find some ice somewhere. Yeah, you know, the key for a good ice is it can't be too moist. It needs to be dry. So you can still have great ice even though it's hot outside. So we just, we'll talk about it. We'll yeah. figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, the Most Honorable Andrew Holness, Prime Minister of Jamaica. Thank Appreciate you for you being on Good Day.